And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing before the Positional Heroes promo. Now, when is that going to be coming out? I'm assuming sometime this week, more than likely. If not, it would be next week. It's going to be within the next two weeks. More than likely now, position hero promo, if you guys haven't seen that video already, go watch it. But if you have not, I will go over some aspects of it now. Positional heroes is super cool. Pretty much you're going to get a card at every single position. Very similar to kind of how the last few promos have dropped. And kind of how team of the year dropped specifically. So it's going to be uh, similar to how team of the year drops like a player at every single position. Usually like two cornerbacks, two wide receivers. And it's pretty much going to be like positional heroes supposed to be like some of the guys best at their position. But realistically... It's going to be some of the guys best their position who haven't gotten a card in Madden in a while. So let's say Russell Wilson hasn't gotten one since January team of the year. They'd give it to him instead of even Patrick Mahomes, one of those other guys who have one already. But you guys understand, they're going to be the best cards at their position pretty much. Now, all of them are going to be 99s more than likely because it's how they've always done it. Now, but there's some really cool aspects of positional heroes and things you can do and ways to make coins in them, which I'm going to be going over today to prepare you guys for that. Before we get into the video, obviously, let's go check out this EA Access Award May reward here. I believe it is a team pack. So what are the golden tickets right now? We got Mike Evans. Who else we got? We got Mike Evans. Who I actually really want. I think I'm going to open up the Buccaneers pack. Yeah. I definitely want Mike Evans. So let's go for it. You know how crazy it would be if we pulled a Mike Evans golden ticket out of a Buccaneers pack? That would be unreal. So first, we get Levante David, 72 middle linebacker. Let's take this nice and slow because this might be the last chance we have to pull a golden ticket. Team of the week, that might be it. And we... That gold flash... Warren Sapp 80, that gold flash, it gave me a little like a heart jitter real quick. No, we got Warren Sapp 80, a fullback. That's really not bad. And did I just see fullback? Did I, did I say fullback? Was that a fullback? Let's check it out before we do anything because that, that's concerning. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to button, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as it is a fullback. As always, and if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what's up. So, first thing first, positional promo. It's going to have here, it's going to have more than likely house rules. Gonna have some solos, gonna have some free players, gonna have a lot of sets. Now these players are all created by sets. That's just the way it works. These players are always created by sets. They are, this is a set promo. Now to create these players, you have to combine other players in that position. So it's always interesting. So in year, like years ago, position hero promo was one of the most profitable promos and sometimes the most hard promo to get players from now. I'll explain why. So that's what they dropped a wide receiver position here, Julio. There'd be, you need 10 receivers to complete them. And near the bottom of the list, there'd be like 64 overall, uh, Marvin Jones before he was good or they'd be like say, uh, you know 81 overall Sterling Shepard let's just say and those cards or no, specifically the 74 Marvin Jones it was a silver card let's say and it was really rare because not many people had it because it was just a silver card everyone bought it out so now his price was like 150k like I remember there was even a left end on the Detroit Lions who was 200 and like no 450k I forget his name but he literally went for so much coins and people actually bought it if you put it up so there used to be times you could ease or you could like snipe out silver card people would put them up for like a k thinking they were nothing and they would go for a lot but right about now guys they have changed that strategy a little bit to make sure that everyone can afford to get these cards and that, that doesn't happen anymore but there still is an impact so for me guys i'm saving a lot of my binder so let's just say so i'm saving a lot of my binder for that exact reason now the way they do it now is just random players like you need 11 quarter action you need 295 and up you need 290 to 95 you need 585 to 90 that's kind of how it's gonna go so let's say in terms of wide receiver i have been saving a lot of cards i have not sold my binder so let's say i'm gonna probably need a let's say uh, an 89 overall receiver i got kenny stills 88 anton randall l got rice got rice got 86 85 i'll be able to complete a lot of these positional hero sets without spending too many coins so do expect do expect on the channel to have a lot of these done i have quite a few now guys one thing that comes with this happening is that these cards should go up in value so let's say 80 overall kenny stills go for 1.6 when this drops, if they need like, if you need 580 overall receivers per set, he could go up to like 4k. That's 3k made. Doesn't sound like a lot, but if you buy 10 of him in advance and you make 3k, that's 30k made. If you buy 100 of him in advance, that's 300k made. You guys get the point? There's a lot of stuff you can do with this promo, as well as it's just a great binder cleaning promo. Let's say right now my whole binder of wide receivers goes for probably like 300k. No, maybe less. Let's go with less. Like there's probably like 15, 20, 15, 10, 5, 6. Let's just say wide receivers alone, including, no, no, I'm sorry, like 150, 150k if I sold everything here for as much as I can do it, even all the way down. That could end up being like 350k when we're done because of just the price inflation of every card goes up a k or two. 
that doubles your money. So there's a really a lot of ways to actually make off with this promo. So that's why I recommend do not bind yourself from now until the positional hero drop. That's why I have literally saved so much stuff. Cornerback 109. Look at this. I have 93 Rod Woodson. I have 89 Rob Woodson, 87 Patrick Sertain, Val Blunt, Pierre, uh, Pierre Desir, Bradley Roby, Deion Sanders, Deion Sanders, Orlando Skandrick, Deion Sanders, Willie Brown, Ty Smith, Jason Verrett. I just have so much stuff saved up just for this promo because I was going to start selling and stuff and quick selling stuff, but I thought about it. And at this point in the game, the best thing you could really do is just hold on. And it, let's say Positional Heroes isn't as profitable as it's been in years past or whatever. Then you just sell it, but they're going to go up a little bit. I know they will, so don't sell everything now for, let's say, let's say if I sell my whole body, I could probably make like of just bad cards like lower four card probably make like 700k maybe close to a million coins if i sold because look at this there's just like hundreds of cards and if they all go for at least 1k i'll be fine yeah i have like how much i have 1142 in my binder i could probably end up selling like maybe 600 700 stuff, like stuff worth of that and they probably all go from one to 2k at minimum and they don't they go for more than that I could probably easily make over a million but let's say i wait and they all go up 2k just 2k Everything goes up 2k. I now made double that. I made 2 million. You know what I'm saying? There's so much ways to make coins. I do not recommend you binder clean now. Just wait off on that. There's just there's just too many ways. Or even like higher 90 cards too. Let's see if I can find one that I have. Let's see like half back. Okay, perfect example. I have Redux Tevin Coleman and Redux Ezekiel Elliott. Let's see what they're going for right now. I have a lot of Redux in there actually. 28k. If they request a 92 halfback, although remember, he might not be the cheapest because he's a redux. So it might not be the best option, but let's find something else that could be the best option. Like an 86 in Mongery, perfect. 5k, he goes up to like 7k, 8k. That clears your reduction that you would have lost otherwise. And you make a little bit more now. Instead of making like 4k, you make 6k. Or not even 6.3. So now you're working with an extra 2k per. If you sell every halfback and an extra 2k per, again, big profits. It's just, it's just, guys, it's so beneficial. I highly recommend you wait and you try this out when the time does come. And even better if they make specific players. If they do specific players, guys, and you have them, things are gonna, I mean, for the overall consensus of people, this will be the most, like, conservative way if they do it this way because then everyone gets affected by it. But if they do it with specific people, most people won't get affected, but the people that do, like, let's say they make Ezekiel Elliott a requirement or Redux Ezekiel Elliott, he's gonna be like 100k maybe 70 80 that's gonna be great but if they just do every half back they're all gonna go up slightly like the market's just gonna curve up like it's gonna start curving up but like at a slight gradual gain it's not gonna be like some players like that some players like this it's gonna be just slight but enough to make a lot of profit which is really why i'm looking forward to this and as far as power-ups go guys people have been asking about power-ups they're really done like power-ups are done see early in the year guys when we first did these power-ups they were so valuable because not everyone had them not everyone opened packs they weren't as common people are really powering up every day left and right now everyone has their team people ask them why they're not valuable most people at this point have a lot of their team powered up so when you zeke comes out are you really going to power down your bojax and your barry sanders to get zeke's like eh. i'll just try his full card out they all get, and they all get abilities now back then like literally if you didn't have them powered up you didn't get sprint you didn't get abilities and those cards weren't overpowered now it's like and eh, they're good without the power up they're good with the power up or even there's enough of them to go around or getting the new z isn't that rare it was back when like the first vic dropped and everyone needed vic but then there was legend solos like or that new mccaffrey drop like it had to be like a new card that just stood above people cards right now don't stand above anyone because all the cards are very similar now because everyone could be kept up and powered up to 99s so that's kind of the point with all that but guys let's back out real quick before we get out of this video i do want to open up a quick little pack see if we can have the chance of pulling a golden ticket because we've definitely been trying and do is there any pack in stores to open up a golden ticket with is there anything like game changer packs or okay there's still game changer packs i want to open one I've been feeling pretty good. I don't know. I was feeling pretty lucky today. Let's see if we could potentially pull one. We got a base elite right there. 83 Keanu Neal. That's definitely not what we're looking for. I, I always want to say Emerald. I'm so used to 2K. 86 Whitney Merciless. Not horrible. Oh my god, one of these. Please be a high one. 87 Terrell Edmonds. Like, you guys aren't bad. But, like. Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay. Solomon Thomas, Brian Blogger, Terrell Edmonds. Whitney Merciless and Keanu Neal. These were not great. These were not great, even in the slightest. But we know this. We know it's going to happen. I still got to I want to. Oh, guys, I told you. I have coins this year. A lot of coins. 
We're pull we gotta pull something. I like next year we're pulling something. I know for a fact. We did not pull one LTD this year or anything. Again, another year we've never pulled anything. And I've opened up enough packs. I know I know I'm not like one of those big YouTube money spenders, but I will be next year, so we will be pulling one. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're into the channel, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bell, boys. Come join the family. And if you haven't already, like always, like the video, comment down below if you have any questions or things you want to add to the positional hero promo. Let me know how excited you guys are for. What is your what is your prediction rating through one through ten? Let me know. Like, are you, is it a six for you? Is it a ten? How big is your binder? What are you guys ready for? But that's about it. I'm out. Peace.